Okay, it's Saturday. It's actually nice outside. I can't get any work done because of how nice it is outside. I think I need to get out of a space and get a coffee and do some work. So, let's go do that. So this is the first vlog of the 2008 season. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to be a little bit better about doing the vlogs and everything like that, but today was just a nice day, it's 52 degrees. I found myself trying to write stuff today and wasn't able to because it's such so nice and you get cooped up and don't get really much motivation to do stuff. I actually found myself trying to work, then I took a break and then found myself going to sleep. I'm going to go to a coffee shop and see if I get some writing done and some work done and I want to talk about some special projects that I'm going to be working on. So, yeah. Should be a fun one. Alright, got my coffee. Got all set up. So one of the projects I'm gonna be working on um, today is a graphic novel. So I've been wanting to do that for a while now. Uh, it's with the Molly's Folly series, which is awesome. Uh, so one of the reasons why I was wanting to do a graphic novel is that I have all these ideas about this world, and then the comics that I've been doing lately haven't been so know how to draw the characters, but I couldn't really, I didn't really know them. So I've been playing around with some ideas, maybe to talk about like a day one kind of thing. I've actually gotten like pages upon pages of notes and ideas that I'm throwing around. And so I'm going to play around with that today. I'm also going to be working on some storyboards for the animated intro that I'm working on with uh, Mia and Phoebe there. And enjoy a nice coffee in the atmosphere while I do it. Seriously, this is really good. Two hours later. Uh, Alright, so actually got a good amount of stuff done for about two hours worth of time there. They close at around six. Yeah, I was able to get some storyboard's done and just was talking to Mia about like what she's looking for and everything like that as well as writing for the story so actually let me talk about that actually I don't know which one let's go the other way actually what I got so far as a story idea. I originally was going to talk about how Molly met Fluffy. And I had a very old comic that I did was kind of like a joke on like, you ever wonder what happened at Roanoke? <laughs> um, the, that's the colony that gets, um, just disappears. Like nobody knows what happened. And I thought to myself, you know, it would be really funny if uh, Fluffy was the one who ate the entire town. <laughs> so I started playing around with that idea and the more I played around with it, the more I kind of realized that there wasn't really much of a conflict other than like the villagers get nuts and decide to go after Molly for being a witch because she was the weird one. Which not a bad concept, but I feel like that was more that would be a really good backstory. And I was thinking about what my my friend was saying, you know, really wanting to learn more about the town, or learn more about the world, the Parasalem that I've talked about. Um, some crazy ideas like the people who are goths here are actually like dead people. <laughs> But the fact that they look like goths is the reason why nobody, like, questions them, in a sense. 
So I really wanted to kind of explore that world. And that really kind of sparked more of an idea about how like Molly gets kicked out of Covenant School. So she has to go find some work in Paris Salem, but she's not able to because, you know, she wants to be a spellcaster. And so she has to come to this world where she meets this guy named Robbie who gets accidentally bitten by Fluffy and slowly turning into this weird creature. But in Paris Salem, it's illegal to have a human to come over in Paris Salem because back in the day they tried to doing that and found and accidentally started the Salem witch trials. Oops! So that was like my thinking with a lot of the stuff I was working on today in the coffee house. It'd be like, you know, like why is it that humans can't go into Paris Salem? You know, why is it they spend a whole lot of energy, a whole lot of power creating the veil, which protects their world from ours. So I really was trying to answer a lot of those questions today in my writings. And I was thinking to myself like, you know, what would be the conflict of having a supernatural being bite a human? And I didn't want to go down like the zombie route because that's so really cliche. I wanted to try something a little bit different. You know, maybe it causes chaos magic of some sort. Maybe it causes people to go insane, like to lose their humanity in some way, or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. There's also a price for bringing a human to Parasalem, which might be exile, or even death, or something of that sort. And I think that's, it's starting to become more of an interesting story. And I was even thinking to myself too, like, you know, what maybe else caused the Roanoke uh, problem. Like, what happened to that town that made Parasalem really put up these precautions? Because I thought of it, it was like, Salem, what I love about this town is that it's a sanctuary city. And I like the idea of maybe incorporating that into Parasalem. Like, Parasalem is the sanctuary city, city for monsters, ghouls, especially now since, you know, the world doesn't have of that supernatural stuff like where would these monsters go where would these creatures go that's that's the neat idea that I had with it because like this town what I love about this town is the fact that it's weird it's always weird <laughs> and it still has that really mystifying aurora about it I think that's probably what kind of drives me to these cities like when I went to school in Savannah, you know, Savannah is a haunted town. It has a creepy vibe to it, which I like. Whereas Salem, it has that mystifying, like, supernatural feel, but it's more welcoming. It's more, like, it has a different energy to it. And I definitely wanted to bring that to Molly's Folly series. With this story though, I'm finding that I'm writing a lot. And I really wanted to get this story down pat that make it really interesting. So when I start to draw and put the comic together, then it's a little more, has a better foundation. And I find that with a lot of the projects that I want to start is like, I get so excited about doing it that I don't put down a good foundation and it just falls apart. Like a lot of my short films that I want to do, they fall apart because there's no real foundation to any of the story that I want to do because there's nothing there that gets me continue to be exciting and to kind of keep pushing myself to write and animate and draw. So, but that's why I don't want to do with this comic is that I don't want that to happen. I don't want that to be the case where I write this thing and then when I start to draw and everything, I get bored with it and then just get completely complacent with it. Yeah, that's why I'm taking the time to really kind of plan this out and to really make it a compelling story, even for myself. I mean, don't get me wrong, I want you guys to be able to read it and enjoy it yourselves. My ultimate goal is to actually make this into a book for myself, print out something that I can enjoy for myself. You know, if I, I found that a lot, with a lot of this, 
newest art that I do now is that if I don't enjoy it, then it's not gonna get finished. <laughs> you know, like that's why I like a lot of the Molly Follies mini comics that I've been doing. I've been enjoying because they're stuff on my own. They're my project and everything. So because I make it sure that if I find enjoyment with it, then you guys will enjoy it. Yeah, that's a <laughs> that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do uh, this vlog. Is that I really wanted to document the whole, you know, writing a story from scratch, like as well as like show like the struggles I might be having with writing a comic because I've never written a, a full-on comic before. I've done like mini comics. I've done like little like short little blurbs, but I never actually, in my wildest dreams, would be writing a comic. <laughs> you know, you know, I I focus mostly on animation stuff. But animation takes a lot of time, and I definitely want to get back into that as well. Hence why the uh, I'm doing my Twitch live stream every Saturday. It might be Friday, I don't know, it depends. I gotta figure out a day that works best for it. And that's something I wanna get back into. I wanna get really get dive into amming. But overall, I just wanna be able to do storytelling help you guys with your art and developing tutorials but if if anything if this video and the rest of this vlog could benefit you if you're thinking about writing a story for the first time it will make me insanely happy plus not to mention just being able to do something just for myself as well I mean, art is very selfish in a sense, if you think about it. Well, there she is. Hey, sweetie. How you doing? So, I will say today was actually a successful day, <laughs> even though it kind of started in a, like, I thought it was going to be another, like, oh, miss opportunity to get stuff done. I'm really glad that I actually just left the house for a little bit, even if it was just for, like, a couple hours. I think just the going somewhere else to do work versus just trying to do work here, which I am able to do, really kind of helped me get more in the mindset of, all right, I am needing to actually do work, versus just be like, I'm on the computer. I could probably watch a half hour of YouTube or something. <laughs> 12 hours later, I didn't get anything done, no! <laughs> but yeah, so that's why I kind of left the house today for even just for a couple hours um if you're kind of getting the same way stuck that i was this morning and throughout the day and you're just trying to focus on something to work on if you're able to just go out for a little bit bring your stuff work for a couple hours get a coffee i i highly recommend it <laughs> i mean i rarely do it but i definitely i think for the future now just going out for like maybe a couple of hours, especially for this graphic novel that I really want to write. It's really helpful, I've, I've been finding. So yeah, <laughs> I hope that was something that you guys got a lot of fun out of this. Uh, let me know if you like these vlogs, uh, especially if you want me to continue talking about more about the process of working on a graphic novel, since I have no experience <laughs> doing it before. So I'm going to end that here. So thanks for watching. And until next time, I will talk to you later. Take care.